What I'm always amazed about with Japan is that it's a country full of architectural surprises. Take a street like this. All the houses on the face of it seem relatively ordinary, but when you get inside, you can discover something completely different. With this house, the interior will blow your mind. That is just brilliant. Have you ever seen an interior of a house like this? Originally, this two-story property housed eight small apartments. When the family bought it, they realized that demolishing the entire building would be too expensive. So instead, they converted it into this one-of-a-kind home. Why create a house that's just made up of very ordinary, bland, cubic boxes when you can do something like this. You can create three-dimensional shapes that link through to each other with fantastic dynamic angles with vibrant colours. It's like being inside a cubist painting. To achieve this off-the-wall look, they tore out the entire interior and replaced it with a bespoke steel frame which all the new walls are attached to. Each room seems to have its own colour code. You've got this kind of bleached plywood look. You see a kind of blue room over there, a blue staircase, a natural plywood timber above, a pink room up there. It's taking the ordinary boxes that we're used to and just smashing them apart. And all of that emphasised through the simplest thing ever. Paint. You can get tiny little views through to see a bedroom, a little landing, another bedroom. There's not one single fully enclosed space apart from the toilet. With storage cleverly tucked away by the staircase, upstairs the open plan experience continues. Even up at the first floor, it's such a dynamic space. You're right next to these huge angled pieces of timber. It's beautiful. And it gets a little bit darker as you go into the centre of the house. It's like a bridge walkway looking down into the dining room. And then through to a very light and beautiful bedroom. Weaving through the space again to another room that feels completely different, much warmer, with a kind of yellower light inside. Out from that room, across another bridge, and then through to a very small cello room. After living in something as exciting and as beautiful as this, you could never go back to living in an ordinary house 